Hey guys, Jonathan Wilson here for Jam Sports 100, the Jam Sports Show. How is it going? I am here to take a look at the Thursday Night Football matchup for Week 4 in the 2018 NFL season. And what a good game it should be. The Minnesota Vikings travel to Los Angeles to take on the Los Angeles Rams. But before we talk about that, let's talk a little about last week. We had our best week of the season so far, going 10-6. and six. Keep in mind, this is all straight up at this point or at this time so 10 and 6 is what we did last week with that we are 26 20 and 2 on the year 1082 wins 664 losses and 7 ties is the lifetime record so this right here a lot of people are calling this or we're calling this a potential NFC championship game preview and then last week happened where Minnesota got throttled at home by the Buffalo Bills, which nobody saw coming, also with a rookie quarterback uh, in Josh Allen for the Bills. No one saw that coming, and so there were a lot of people that were like, eh, maybe Minnesota is not as good as we thought. But let's slow down on that one just a little bit. It was a bit of a trap game. Most teams usually have one at some point throughout the year. Minnesota had theirs last Sunday, and they will be fine. However, this game for them is going to be very, very tough on Thursday because one of the reasons is the Rams, I think, to me, are probably the most complete team in the NFL. And they are missing, the Vikings are missing a big spot on defense. Everson Griffin, not with the team. Um, I'm sure if a, lot, if a lot of you have heard he had some, some mental issues, I guess you would call it. It may not be the most sensitive way to say it, but throughout the week, so he is not with the team. He is being evaluated. Hopefully all goes well for him and he gets the help that he needs. It is a huge loss, though, from a football standpoint for the Vikings for two reasons. One, he is an inspirational leader on this Viking team, so that is a huge loss for them not to have him there in that capacity and also not to have him there on the field either. Just to show, I mean, this Rams offense is really, really good, and they're probably going to need him. This Rams offense is scoring 34 points per game, 439 points per, uh, yards per game, rather. Both those good for third in the NFL. So this offense is rolling. Jared Goff is com- completing 70% of his throws at this point for this 3 0 Rams team. This team right now looks really, really good. This defense is still good. The Vikings defense is still good, but they're definitely missing something pretty big. Uh, without having Everson Griffin. Speaking of defense and not having key components, uh, the Rams, tough luck this week as well as they lost to Keeb Tlaib. He will have surgery on Thursday and also Marcus Peters out as well. Those are two big corner losses for them. Uh, it'll be up to uh, Nikel Roby Coleman and Sam Shields to take their place and that's going to be a tough seven for them with this Vikings offense and how powerful they are with Kirk Cousins and Stephon Diggs and even Kyle Rudolph and company. There is a lot here for this Vikings offense. This game, I think, is going to be a whole lot of fun. The Vikings aren't running the ball real well right now. Can't run real well against the Rams anyway, so I don't think that's going to be a huge problem for them. I do think that with out Aqib Tlaib, and without Marcus Peters, Kirk Cousins is going to be able to move the ball down the field through the air and get some yards that way. This game is going to be a lot of fun to watch. I cannot wait for it. However, another big key for this game is the fact that the Vikings are traveling through two time zones for this contest. And on Thursday Night Football games, in the last 10 games where the road team has traveled through two time zones, they're 0-10. So statistics in that way are definitely not in the Vikings' favor. I am not totally selling the Vikings' stock. I do think that this is still a very good team, but I do think that they could struggle a bit here in this game against the Rams. I do think it will be competitive. I think they will stay in it, at least for most of it. I could see the Rams maybe pulling away a little bit towards the end. I have gone back and forth about really who I was going to pick, and then I finally got comfortable with what I was going to do, and I've got the Rams getting the win and staying undefeated. I think it's just too tough. Griffin is a huge loss for that Viking defense. This Rams team, as I said, they're really complete, 
and they're just going to be a tough team to beat, period. But then you just talk about going on a short week, traveling through two time zones. Things are just not in the favor of the Vikings. I have the Rams getting the win. Don't forget to like the JM Sports Show page on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Links as always are down in the description. College football picks for Tonight will be up in just a while. I'm not going to post them here on YouTube. I'll just post them on the Facebook page and on Twitter, but I will release those soon. And NFL picks for the rest of the games will be up probably... uh, I don't want to say a time for sure, but I'm shooting for some time on Friday. So, that is going to do for me. I am Jonathan Mosette for JM Sports 100, the JM Sports Show, and I will see you guys later.